big Lou. It's Big Lou Barbecue. Other things I want to do. And let me tell you what I've got going on for you. I'm going to show you. I got another mail call in. This is a thank you video. I got something in the mail I wasn't expecting. I didn't ask for it. Didn't know it was coming. Came from Uncle Steve. Yep, that's right. It says Uncle Steve's Shake on the package. Now, what flavors are in there? I don't know. Um, I'm hoping some spicier is in there because I like the spicier. Spelled spicy with an R. All right. Uh, I also like the uh, Gator Shake. I'm out of that. But I didn't ask for it. I didn't order any from him. I didn't get any videos done this past week. Past weekend was New Year's. We did the Black Eyed Peas, cabbage, corned beef thing on New Year's Day. I said, you know what? I'm just going to enjoy the holiday. I'm not going to make a video while I cook this. So I didn't make a video about cooking that. Most people know how to do it anyway. And there's a lot of other New Year's Day videos on that. Uh, over the weekend, I made some chicken and dumplings, which were real good. I thought I need to do a video on this too. But I said, you know what? I just want to cook. And I grilled too. I got my grill thrill on with a couple things that I've made videos on before. So I didn't video that either. So I'm driving home and I'm thinking, I've already planned what I'm going to do the next weekend. I said, I need to get a video out next weekend. And it's a piece of meat I've got in my freezer. It's thick meat too. So I'm going to use Uncle Steve's shake thick meat on it. And I'm planning it out. I've been thinking about it this weekend, you know, and I'm thinking of Uncle Steve's shake. And over the weekend, I watched two NFL games. Both ended in overtime. My team uh, lost to the Vikings. My stepsister lives up there in Minnesota. If she's watching this, congratulations to you Vikings fans. But anyway, uh, I was watching that in overtime. And uh, my favorite AFC team, uh, they won in overtime on Saturday night. And both games, I ate with popcorn with Uncle Steve Shake on it. And I was thinking about how good that popcorn was. And I was thinking, I'm coming home from work. And I said, you know what? I think I'm going to make me some more popcorn with a little bit of Uncle Steve's shake on it. But as I pull into the driveway, I stop at the mailbox there. And lo and behold, I said, I didn't order anything. Did my wife order something? Pull it out. It's got that, got that on it. Knew right away, of course, what it was. It says, Big Lou, thanks for all you do. All right, so I was like, wow. I'm thinking about Uncle Steve's shake while I'm driving in to my driveway, open the mailbox, lo and behold. So I said, you know what, there it is. Don't have a video for Monday. Got a mail call video out. And you know what? Uncle Steve's shake gets all the credit for it. I didn't ask for it. Oh, I got two big old bottles in here. Look at that, I got two big bottles. I don't know what they say on them there. I, just want, I got using my knife there. Oh, wow. Oh my goodness. Look what he did. I'm so touched. Big Lou and all the things he wants to do. Uncle Steve, that is awesome. Awesome. By the way, I can't wait to make this uh, thing I'm cooking this week with the thick meat part. I got some left from one from Pit Dog. Look at that, y'all. Look at that. He made my custom label for this. I'm touched. I am touched. All right, that's spicier. That's my favorite. Gator shake. Need that. My daughter was asking, Dad, we need to get some more gator shake. I said, well, I have to order some. I don't have to order some. He said some. All right, Big Lou and all the things he wants to do. That's me. <laughs> and I want to cook with some Uncle Steve shake. Y'all, this is pretty cool stuff. I will tell you, I've told him before, uh, I spent 12 years of my life trying to avoid MSG. And uh, I finally gave up. I said, you know what? I'm going to use MSG sparingly. And uh, Uncle Steve Shake does have MSG in it. I told everybody, I told him, if he sends me some, ever sends me any, I would tell people that it does have MSG in it. Um, I, I know what it's like to have an MSG headache. But I use this. And um, I, I think I got a little sensitivity to MSG. I use this, but I haven't had any problems. I ate a whole bowl of popcorn with it during two football games and felt fine the other day. So I do want to tell you it has MSG in it, but uh, it's good stuff. All right, this one is thick meat. All right, more spicier. That's how I'm supposed to pronounce it too. Spicier and spicier. <laughs> Yes, indeed. These are my favorite. All right. Uh, yeah, guess what? I got to go in and make that other bowl of popcorn. Maybe I'll do a video on the uh, how to do it with popcorn. All right. I um, think I might, too. Anyway, thanks for watching Big Lou Barbecue. And thank you, Uncle Steve. This is really touching. I've never had anything with my own name on it before like that. Not, 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 uh, 
not spices. All right. Of course, I make some spices too out of recipe books and stuff, but never had my own label on it. That that's pretty cool. All right. Well, Saints are help. Go Texans. Thank you, Steve. <laughs>